Today I'm going to be trying out the ColourPop No Filter Foundation on Mature Skin as part of the Conscious Coin series here on my channel. I'm going to walk you guys through price, color selection, and application so you know whether or not to go out and spend that coin. Welcome to KWrite.com where we talk fashion, lifestyle, and beauty for grown women. To get the latest on makeup, fashion tips, styling hauls, and everything lifestyle for the grown woman, subscribe down below. You can also become a member of the crew by clicking the link in the description box and signing up for the email list. So ColourPop is everywhere as a brand. They gained a lot of popularity recently with their no filter concealer. So the jump to foundation was like inevitable. We all saw it coming. And I have seen this foundation promoted everywhere. It's all over Instagram. It's all over YouTube. All of the beauty gurus got their um, promo packages and they did their videos. They've been talking about it. So it's been super hyped up. The thing is like with most beauty products in general, you never see like a real world, real life woman's point of view on these products because you see them promoted and they're promoted by beauty influencers, makeup artists, you know, etc. So I just wanted to test it out for, you know, kind of like the real life woman. The price point was a big draw for me and because of that, I think a lot of people will wear it on a daily basis. And the people who are wearing it on a daily basis are not beauty influencers. They're just the regular everyday working woman. So the first thing we want to talk is price. Um, it costs $13 that's that next let's talk about color selection when you order the foundation which is available on the ColourPop website you go through a series of steps that they walk you through which I think is super helpful you choose first your skin tone so there is you know a bunch of variables for you to choose from as far as skin tone once you choose your skin tone the next prompt you get is for you to choose your undertone, which I thought was so thoughtful of them and insightful because the problem a lot of times when people can't find their color match is that their skin tone and their undertone are not both taken into consideration at the same time. So I thought that was like a super insightful way for them to help the consumer. If you go to order this, remember that these foundations do oxidize. I would say like a half to one whole color darker I will show you guys my application process and you'll be able to see the difference between how the color looked when I applied it and how it looks now I'm actually wearing it now it's been on for a few hours so it has settled in it's oxidized this is the final color so remember that keep that in mind when you see my application of the color that I actually chose and I went through these same steps to choose the color this foundation wore beautifully I set it the same way I set any of my other foundations and I have some very expensive high-end foundations lately I've been wearing the Giorgio Armani uh, luminous silk foundation this wore just as well this is definitely a go-to for someone who wants an everyday foundation that is not going to break the bank like I said the application is going to look a little different because the color will oxidize as you can see here on me it looks extremely light but in real life, once it oxidized, it looked perfect. And this only took about 20 or 30 minutes for the color to kind of dry down and settle. So if you're getting dressed in the morning, this is going to be the right color before you walk out of the door. So I would say, yes, ladies, spend that coin on the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I will link everything down below. This is not a sponsored video, but please subscribe if you like my content. I upload weekly. And until next time, y'all, bye.